I started playing piano when my parents bought our neighbor's piano. Once I started making beats, I started getting into my parents' music like Motown, CV Wonder, all these sort of legends of that time. It was dawn and I waited on the filter, sold to typify, said she can't be mister. So Cloak is about my, well so I was writing the first few songs of the album when I was living in Australia. Then I moved to London and it was sort of this whole like rejig of my life, not just like creatively, but like making new friends, you know, establishing a new home. So that's like the whole encompassing idea, like shedding what I used to be, moving to London and now here's the new me and here's my first debut album. Like. My, one of my music bucket lists would be to produce someone else's album but create the sound like a lot of people did that in the 70s and 80s like Quincy Jones produced the Michael Jackson album it's like telling telling us telling a story really and not worrying about what other people think and what and trying to inspire people to take whatever they want from your story of writing and not being afraid to release it but make sure what you're releasing is the highest quality it can be. I decided to move to London because when I was living in Australia um, it was too easy like everything was too easy there was I was living with my mum paying no rent I was waking up in my studio that I had built for five years in my bedroom and just like strolling into this like easy life and I decided to move to London purely as a challenge not like a create not surrounding myself with creatives more like throw yourself in the deep end, sort of what I talked about, and then it exposes the real you. And then I found it's the best, it's best decision I've ever made. I had never worked with anyone before, collaboration-wise, songwriting, beat making. That's the best thing about it, like collaboration. I mean, no one, not many people collaborated on my album, but from all my sessions, I learned so much that it had like a lasting effect on my final product. So collaboration changed the, the way I write and massively for me. It's a lot easier to bring a whole song already written, already you've got, this, you've got the structure down, and you bring it to the guys, and then they just, if they can play like, it's a lot easier for Jim to go, hey man, I've got this song, like, I've got lyrics to this thing that I just wrote, how about you, like, you drum along, versus like... I'm really excited about the Big Coco show in 2017. There's a few other shows um, that I'm playing all throughout the summer or lots of loads of festivals, which is exciting. Um, and I'm looking to release another album um, next year. Not sure what date because I'm still working on it, but um, yeah, gonna release another album then. Really excited. I think that's what I'm most looking forward to.